A game that is flying under the radar is Fresno State and San Jose State. Fresno State's been on the map for a while now, even with their one loss to Wyoming. This has been one of the best teams in the Mountain West, and they're facing a San Jose State team that started off the year on a, on a, a little bit of a struggle, and now they suddenly find themselves 4-5 and five still in the Mountain West championship race, and a win over Fresno State would do wonders for them. But beating the Bulldogs isn't easy. We've seen this offense put up a number of big-time plays against certain teams, and it's through the air. Mikey Keene was one of the best additions in the transfer portal. We've talked about that all year, and he has a trio of wide receivers that have made life very easy for him. Jalen Moss, Jalen Gill, and Eric Brooks are three of the best receivers in this conference, and it's going to be tough for San Jose State to slow them down. I think that the rushing attack for the Bulldogs offense could be the X factor. Malik Sherrod has been explosive at times, but they don't run the football a ton. They like to throw the ball through the air, and they like to move the ball downfield with Keen and his receivers. The defense has been kind of underrated. Not because they, I think that they've struggled at times, but I also think that they have shown some flashes. The last three games haven't exactly been great. They've all been nail biters. And then also the Wyoming game wasn't on the defense. They gave up 20, just 24 points, but you know, the offense struggled and then Keen got hurt. So that, that really hurts, but they're still sitting at the top of the Mountain West. They are currently in the Mountain West championship game. They need to find a way to win against the San Jose State team that when you look at the beginning of the year, we knew they would struggle. We knew that they would win uh, a few games, at least in the non-conference play with USC and Oregon State. You knew those were two losses. It was just a matter of how well they could play. When you think about it, it was kind of foreshadowing to USC struggles when San Jose State kept things interesting. Now, ultimately, USC pulled away because they're the much better and much more talented team. But we saw a lot about what San Jose State can do. And it shouldn't be surprised that they're on a three game win streak. We saw even in the USC game, they went down early. They kept fighting. They continue to keep the game close. They bounced back when they dropped it by two scores. They have kept fighting and they kept playing until ultimately the, the talent won out for USC. That's exactly why they're in this position. That's why they continue to bounce back. That's why they're in position to potentially play for a conference championship, and they need to find a way to win here. Guys like Siobhan Cordero have been resilient, and it hasn't been their best season, but they are ultimately figuring things out. They smoothed certain aspects of their game out, and now they're looking to pull off what would be a monster win for this program. When you're looking at the matchups in this game, there's a number of players that stand out. And we've already talked about the trio wide receivers for Fresno state. A guy that's super underrated in college football is Nick Nash for San Jose state. The former quarterback turned wide receiver put up a big performance against USC. And when he's been healthy, he's been one of the more exciting players to watch in the mountain West. He's been a big time threat. He's a big body receiver that is ultimately figure, figuring things out at his new position. And Fresno State could be in trouble if they're not able to guard him. Now, without Cam Lockridge, that leaves one less DB that can cover a guy like Nick Nash. So guys like Carlton Johnson will have their hands full. The defense ultimately is what's going to determine if Fresno State wins this game because San Jose State can win a shootout. They can put up points. They can make life difficult for Fresno State. Fresno State hasn't had a team that's pushed them in terms of scoring 40. They've had a couple teams score 30 against them, Boise State last week, Utah State two weeks before that, but no one's really challenged them to win an absolute track meet. And Fresno State could be in trouble if they don't find a way to slow down Nash and Cordero, but, uh, but I think that that's what will determine this game is what does Fresno State's defense do and what does San Jose State's offense do to combat that? What can they do to open up the field? I think it's still a very balanced team. When you look at what they like to do, they like to run the football, but they're also pretty talented at throwing too. Cordero is a super underrated quarterback, a very resilient, very poised quarterback. So you're not going to get him rattled too much. And that's what could keep them in this game. If Fresno State can't get to the quarterback very often, Cordell can slice and dice and make things interesting. Mikey Keene has been, like I said, a great addition to Fresno State's offense. He has been a difference maker. He's been explosive. And with the amount of talent around him, it's easy to see why they've had this much success. Cordero is not getting as much attention, but when you look at his numbers, I'm in a pretty solid year. He's a solid runner. He's not going to be the, the most effective rusher. They're going to hand the ball off to guys like Kyrie Robinson. You're going to give it to other players that are, you know, built more for running, but Cordero can definitely take off with his feet. 
He's been a solid player as a passer, 13 touchdowns, just three interceptions. Maybe he doesn't have the big games that Keen does, but he's definitely capable of winning the big game with his arm. What it comes down to is which team takes care of the ball better, because I think Keen is definitely there to be picked off. I think that when you look at he's thrown three interceptions in the last two games, he's thrown five in the last four. So he is definitely someone who can make mistakes and give the ball back to their offense. When you look at the last three games for Cordero, zero interceptions and has seven touchdowns. I think that you're looking at a team that can compete with Fresno State. But when you're picking this game, you have to pick the Bulldogs. I think you just have to. Until further notice, San Jose State isn't quite on the level of Fresno State. Beating Hawaii, Utah State, and New Mexico isn't going to ultimately just change your perception of a team. But it's definitely a team you have to keep an eye out for. It's definitely a team that you have to be weary of because they are a team that can definitely pull off an upset. They can hang with Fresno State. They can make life interesting. And I like the, the leadership they have in place. Brent Brennan has done a great job. And Jeff Tedford knows that. He will get his team ready to play. He knows the importance of this game, and he knows what it means to San Jose State. A win for the Spartans gives them a ton of momentum going into the final stretch of the season. And if they're able to do that, they put themselves in a great position to keep their championship hopes alive. They obviously still need a little bit of help, but beating Fresno State would be a good opportunity to, to elevate their stock there. Fresno State is really talented. Obviously, we've seen what they can do all year. They've been really fun to watch. And I think that continues. Fresno State's just too good. And it still will be a really entertaining game, but ultimately the Bulldogs just have too much firepower.